listen to in the name of Jesus. I welcome you from London, from UK or from London, from Nigeria, from South Africa, from Botswana, from Kenya, from um, Lesotho, from Mauritius, from Tanzania, or whatever part of Africa you are watching from. I welcome you from Europe, from any part of Europe that you are watching this video. I welcome you from Australia or from any part of Australia. Um, uh, uh, Australia are watching this video from I watch what called me also from the Virgin Island and some part of America or whatever you're watching this video from God bless you and God keep you now we have finished our discussion on series our series on prayer we are about to begin another set of discussion which is um, on uh, we're going to be discussing our series on worship and our topic today for our discussion is entering into the gate of worship Entering into the gate and the court of worship. Um, Taking from the book of Psalm 1, 100 verse 4. We are going to start tonight now. I'm trusting that God will bless you and keep you. Can we pray? Father, we thank you for this opportunity to come before you and be transformed by the power of your word. We ask that the seeds of this word cause us to be on upon our feet and cause us to do that which you require us to do in the name of Jesus. Amen. We are going forward now. One of the things we need to understand is that uh, the gates of worship is always not open. The gate of worship is always not open. It's always locked. But there are ways and God has given us ways to access them. God has given us ways to be able to go into them. And how do you get going to the gate of worship? The first thing to do for you to be able to access the gate of worship is thanksgiving. The Bible says, enter into his gate with thanksgiving. And it's caught with praise. So, and the, 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 the gate of, the first gate, the gate of worship can be accessed by thanksgiving. That's where God is. That, that's where, that's the gate. Now, let me give you this illustration. You want to go and see President Barack Obama. Or you want to go and see the President of Nigeria. Let me give you an example of the President of Nigeria because he's very close to me. And I can, of course, uh, <laughs> praise God. Uh, let me give you an example of the President of Nigeria. You want to go and see the President of Nigeria right now. Okay? And the first thing you should do, you go to the gate. And before you enter into the gate of Asherog or the villa, you'll be thoroughly searched and thoroughly investigated. Okay? Of course, you're carrying something. You want to go and harm the President or something. Then after that, you're not going to the it's after the gate that you now move further in your journey and then go to probably his office and enter the villa you can meet him and you can also talk to him that's one of the things we need to understand so and that's one of the ways to access of course the and the same thing happens with god the same thing happens with god to enter into the gate of god what you need is thanksgiving so to be an effective worshiper, where you can worship God from the depth of your heart, the first place that you need to access is to access it by thanksgiving. And that's the gate of God. And how do you begin? Of course, you start like this. You begin to thank God. For instance, you are worshiping God. Let's say you are worshiping God. You are in the heat of worship. You want to start worshiping God. Of course, you want to start worshiping God. No way. Is a God. Imalaga by Agabalagush in Agabayaba. Oh, see with me, I agree. Is a God. In La Catapacash. Come and see, I agree. In Hungary. Is a God. How do we enter into that gate? By thanksgiving. And how do you enter into that gate? By thanksgiving only and nothing more. The only thing that opens the gates of God to you is thanksgiving. It's not prayer. Prayer does not open God's gate for you. It's thanksgiving. For you to be able to access that place of that place, that, that gate of God, it's thanksgiving. Now, in the olden days, God gave the priests or the Levites some requirement of what to do to enter into the into the, the holies and the holies of holies. Now, the holies in our circumstances is the gate of God, while the holies of holies is the, is the court of God. And all of this, God has given us keys, God has given us, given us direction on what to do. 
He wants to because he always wants us to come. And it's the end time to the gift of God with thanksgiving and his cause. We praise. Now we are, we want to enter into the court of, God, the court of God with thanksgiving. This is how you should begin. You begin to thank God. Father, I thank you for your mercies. I thank you for your goodness. I thank you for your grace. Thank you for the forgiveness of sins. Thank you for the gift of the Holy Spirit. Thank you for the blessedness of the Trinity. Thank you, Father, for the blessedness of your mercy. Thank you, Father, for, your, for, your, for forgiving my sins. Thank you because you have never forsaken me for one day. Thank you, Father, for your goodness. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for your mercies. Indeed, you are the Lord, and there is no one else like you are. You are faithful to me. I cannot thank you enough. How can I thank you enough in ye? Thank you enough in ye. Thank you enough in ye. Oh, in ye, in ye, in ye, in ye, in ye. Oh, in ye. That's how to accept the gift of God, thanksgiving. You thank Him for what He's doing, for what He will do, and for what He said to do. You thank Him. Okay? That's how to access the gift of God. Now, how do we enter into the holies of holy, which is the court of God? I said, I, I said earlier, prayer does not open it for you. Nothing opens it for you but what? Praise. It is praise that gives you access to God. It is praise. The, the court of God is the place where God is. The court of God is the throne of God. So for you to be able to enter into that court of God where He's dwelling, the only thing that can open it for you is praise. The only thing that can open it for you, that's the reason why I'm discussing this as a prerequisite for worship. That's what you must do for you to begin to worship God. Before you begin to worship, the first thing you should do is what? Thanksgiving, and then, which gives you access to the gates. After Thanksgiving, what gives you to the holy access to the holies of holies is praise. That is the court of God, the very place where God is. If you are going to come and see the president of Nigeria and you stop at the gate, they, for instance, you are going there to discuss the business proposal from, from, for, for him, or you are coming from the United States of America and your goal is to see the president of Nigeria and you stop at the gate, have you achieved your purpose? Has the purpose of your visiting Nigeria been achieved? No, it has been destroyed. In fact, you, you, for someone, you have failed because it is a, the same thing as someone who did not even leave America. He was in America and stayed there. So for you to be able to access the, the court of God, where God is, for you to be able to get into there, what you actually need to do is to enter into that place with what? With praise. The court of God can only be ac is accessible by praise. Now, if you stop at the gate, of course, trying to go and see the person of Nigeria, you are failed. Because the purpose of coming there has been defeated. But if you enter into that, pass, go beyond that gate, of course, and then you enter into that court, of course, then your purpose of, 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 seeing, of seeing God has been achieved. So if you stop at, at, at the level of thanksgiving, Father, I thank you for your message. Thank you for this. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. I appreciate you. You are faithful. Thank you. You are, you are at the gate of God. You stop at the gate of God. But to enter into that court, and that will, that will not be the essence of your worship. That won't be. For you to be able to, for you to, be able to get into the, 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 the court of God, you need praise. How then do you enter there? You are, you are worshiping. No great, how great is our God. Or you are worshiping. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain, to break every chain, to break every chain, to break every chain. How do you get to the court of God in your worship? By praise. And how do you do that? Lord, I thank you for your mercies. I celebrate you for your power. You are God. The God that made the earth and made the heaven. The God that began the beginning. The one who is ageless and changeless. The one who has a copyright over all creation. The one that began the beginning. The originator of all creation. The only God that is not an imitator. All other gods and all other people copy from him. He copies from no one. He takes counsel from no one. He takes instruction from no one. You are powerful. You are unlimited. You are many science God. You are the God that has the trademark 
over all creation. You are the only God that is the originator of all creation that does not copy yet he produced. The only God that does not photocopy is the originator of all things. The only God that is mighty, the only God that is powerful, the only God that is righteous, the only God that is holy, we celebrate and worship you. You are God indeed. The only God that is work of his hands are the subject matter of scientific research. Almighty and everlasting God, we give you worship. We give you praise. We celebrate you. We worship you. You are powerful. Whose eyes are like flame of fire. And whose feet are like burnished bones. The one who is the subject, who is, who is the most attractive personality in the whole of eternity. Yes. The one who is the most attractive personality in the whole of eternity. We worship you. You are God. The one that knows the body of the earth. The one that knows the very place where the foundation of the earth is standing. You are powerful. You are glorious. We celebrate your mightiness. We give you praise. We give you glory. We worship you. We celebrate you. Galabaya Gabalagabas. We worship you. God, you are God. And there is no one like you. You are God. Oh, you are worthy of our praise. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. Mm. You are Lord. Jigabara gabaya gabosa. Oh, you are worthy of my praise. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. You are Lord. You are Lord of my praise. And that's how you enter into the court of God. You praise. So you are worshiping God in the midst of your worship. You combine it with terrible praise. With powerful praise. Or before you begin to worship, before you even begin to sing the songs to God, the first thing you should do is first of all go into a, a time of praise. Praise God for who He is. Praise God for who He is in, the, in your life, in the life of His church. Look for what God is doing in the world, in the whole earth, and begin to praise Him for it. Hallelujah. Of course, after you can praise Him, you cannot begin to go into worship. You are my Pillar, Oh, you are my pillar. Oh, you are my pillar, my pillar, my pillar. Oh, you are my healer. You are my healer, my healer, my healer. You are my glory, not the leader of my head. You are my glory, not the leader of my head. That's how you praise God. My ever-present hope in the time of me. That's how you praise God, okay? So before you begin to sing these songs, which I've sung, you praise. Praise God for who He is. Praise God for His mercies. Praise God for His power. Praise God for His holiness. Praise God for His righteousness. Praise God for the mighty things He has done unto your life. Praise God for the, for the deliverances which He has done unto your life. Hallelujah. Bless God. So that is how to enter into the gate of God and the court of God and meet with God in your worship. You first of all begin from the starting point of thanksgiving. You thank the Lord. Thank you for your mercies. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for your love and your compassion. Then you go into the court of God and that court can only be accessible or can only be accessed by Praise. Begin to praise God. Prayer does not open the court of God for you. Prayer doesn't open it. Prayer, it doesn't open it. What access, open the, the, the court of God for you is what? It's praise. 
Now, that is how you do to access the the gift of God and the court of God. I believe you have been transformed by this video. Click a like, share, and comment on the video, and I'll get back to you. Search with me, search me on, um, by, by the name Brother Pius Joseph on Facebook. I'm also on Skype. Search by the name Watcher Pius or search by the name Pius Joseph. You'll still get me there. Let's connect there. I also believe I'll be able to get back to you as you leave a message or want to talk to me. God bless you and God keep you and God direct you. Now, I want to pray for someone here who wants to open his heart to God. Because the gate of God and the court of God, no sinner, no person who is living in sin, no person who has passed in or who has gone back to the world, living for the world can access it. I want to pray for you. You are there, you are saying, God, I want to come back so that I can get into your court, get into your, your gate, or get into your gate and get into your court. Pray this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, place your right hand on your chest. Lord Jesus, I give you my heart. Come into my life. Wash my sins with your push, the precious blood of your son. Wash my sins with the blood of Jesus. Cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Forgive me of all my transgression. Give me the grace to stand firm. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Write my name in the book of life. In Jesus' name. Amen. A simple prayer is that your life has been changed. What I will ask you to do is look for a Bible believing church and be planted there, right there, you know, so that you can go and keep growing and keep knowing God. It doesn't stop you. You have to go to a Bible believing church and then from there you can continue. God bless you for watching this video. Thank you for watching and God bless you. Until I come your way next time. Bye bye.